Tahaka came out and said, if it wasn't for Sarnetta, he wouldn't be doing what he's doing. A lot of you niggas wouldn't be doing what you're doing. Blame me for that, but you don't want to. Because you can't tear down the goat. You can't take down the goat. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you try, Sarnetta's still going to be here on top. Don't look at the numbers. Because understand, Sarnetta's numbers been the same way for the last maybe 15 years. Y'all don't believe me? Sarnetta's numbers have been the same. Y'all keep saying, oh, I Sarnetta eaten. numbers dropping. Sarnetta. No, nigga, I'm, understand something. I'm dealing with not. All right, Shalom. This is Hara One by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kao Halayim, Layahawa, by Hashem, Yahawashai, by Hashem, Haraka Kodash, Ma'amaf. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwati, my children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, it's going to be a quick lesson, man. Just something on my spirit. Uh, you know, tying up some loose ends, dealing with Sarnetta and the polite situation. Uh, if you ask me, I believe he did it, but hey, it's still allegations until it's proven proven guilty with it. it seems like there's no more proof than what's already been displayed. But um, I don't know, man. It's just the energy, man. Uh, Pastor Hard just put it out there. He been put it out there. Stay away from the conscious community, man. <clears throat> you should already know that, though. People should already, brothers should already know that. But you got ITR, it is like tried and denied, trying to get a seat at the podium. <laughs> but they ain't letting him in, like the Masons and shit. Uh, what's that? Sakari. They went over, they got some money. You know, ISUPK with the unity camps. And look at Cesariac, look at his condition now. <clears throat> All right, uh, what was the guy Nasi or something like that? He got grabbed for, uh, um, put out there for child molestation as well. Then you got Mighty Hebrew that be hanging around over there. He got grabbed up, already did time for child molestation. So it's like, yo, birds of a feather flock together. Now you got to do Sarnetta trying to decouple himself from polite. Like he had nothing to do with him. Nah, brother. It's in history, man. You put it out there about him being a child molester. Now that every, all the questions going to come back to Sarnetta. All right. He called himself the um, some type of pagan idol. That's what Sarnetta calls himself, where he, he called himself like, like the god that, an uh, idol, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> how they talk. He called himself an idol that overlooks arguments, debate, and fights and that's what he does he sit right there and and, and uh, instigates you know and, and get some money off of it that's not helping the community man He had, what did he do to help the community what community alright so he's the leader of the unconscious community until something happened and he's like nah I'm not the leader I'm nobody I don't make no money <laughs> <It's> like, <yeah. laughs> I'm not putting him out there again. You talking about polite? So yeah, man. I'm gonna. You see, uh, uh, it was just the statements he made, man. Um, and I'm, I'm done watching that. It's good to see your enemies fall. You know, of course, we'll never want to see our people in any, any bad conditions, but you can't be like fuck two thirds. And then when it comes to polite, you know, be all tender hearted and shit. <clears throat> it's Matthew six and twenty two, because polite. What's his name? Uh, Sarnetta. He, uh, he's about fame, man. He's about the fame and the money. He be getting on there cussing out all his followers. I ain't, I ain't letting polite on until y'all send me some money. It's like, whoa, he all about that bread, man. <clears throat> all right. And uh, he said, uh, yeah, man, if... Uh, you know, it may sound like they were, the same way they were talking about the Titanic. They said the Titanic will never sink. Unsinkable ship. Even God couldn't sink it. That's what he said. But then you got you got this idiot, Sarnetta over here, disrespecting the Lord, calling him a pie in the sky. While all the prophecies are breaking out on the earth. And he can't see it. He can see it. He's scared. 
he he wrestled with the Bible. He tried to use the scriptures, but he don't know the Bible. All right, the Lord not dealing with him, <clears throat> leaving him in darkness. So, but for him to make those statements, that's pride, doubt, lack of faith, and lack of knowledge, man. So they're truly unconscious. For him to think he's going to continue on forever. He's like, my number's been the same for 15 years, but he say he ain't making no money. That's him. I don't get him people personal shit like that. <clears throat> but for 15 years, so what? But what about 10 years? We don't know what tomorrow holds. You know, so we're supposed to be humble. It's Matthew 6 and 22. He's like, yeah, you can't take me down. You know? You can't get rid of me. I'm going to always be here on top. <laughs> it's like, yo, psh, why did you just say that? It's like anybody that says that and got, and got a um, negative energy about them, they usually fall like the next few weeks or so, <laughs> like something happened. It's Matthew 6 and 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, that whole body is full of light, all right? And his eye is not single. His not, eye is not focused on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is the light. So his his mind is not full of light at all, not even a glimpse. <clears throat> so his mind is full of darkness and idol, idolatry. So they can, they can move into any type of um, perverted situation, man. Devil worship, mason, masonry. You know, they masons and shit. They be dealing with them little children, man. All right. Verse 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and mammon, which is like riches or wealth. And this dude, um, he truly loves money. And he hates the Lord. He's proven that. All right, for him to contend with the faith against us, against the truth, he hates the Lord. He hates the spirit of the Lord. He hates righteousness. All right? So, you know, people like them, they're, they're two-thirds. They're going to be destroyed on this side and brought back in the kingdom in their right state of mind. All right? So... Um, that's that's what it is. The love of money, man. The scriptures say that the love of money is the root of all evil. You see that because it deals with fame, pride, covetousness, <clears throat> secrecy. All right. Um, let me get this. All right, because that was a prideful statement. I'm going to be here. See, that's how Jake talk, man. That's that's somebody that has no understanding of of the Most High and his son, Yahweh Shai. If he did, he wouldn't talk like that. <clears throat> James 4 and 13. Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow. All right. We will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. See, that's what he said. But the difference now, you don't need to go to different cities. You can do it all from the internet. And he's like, yeah, I can, uh, man, tomorrow, next month, next year, I already been here 15 years. I'm going to continue to be here on top. He's like, bro, you, you kind of up there in age, man. There's no guarantee of that anyway for anybody, you know? So, but the Lord promises resurrection as a nation, period, man. The elect of Israel, when he shows up, if you're of the elect, whether you're in the ground, I mean, your body or your spirit is in the heavens, or you're on this earth, in the truth, the Lord is going to raise you up and, and, and bring you with him or take you up from this earth as the elect. But to be in the world and to be boasting of the worldly ways and riches, man, man. And, and bashing and call it banging on the Bible, on Hebrews, well, you're getting this consolation. <clears throat> YouTube views, that's it. 
So I got money. Who cares, man? Bill Gates said he got money. You got more money than Bill Gates? Well, how about this? Bill Gates don't even have real money now. He probably does digital, but he had the uh, cash. You know, he's rich according to dollars. The elites, they rich according to gold and silver and their name and owning the color of crayons and shit like that. With these new innovative rich Edomites like Bill Gates and all them. Then later on you have the Zuckerbergs. All right. But you got Jake, they get a little bit of money now. They're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rich forever. (laughs) Oh, my goodness, man. Can't give a nigga no money, man. But he's saying that, man. He's saying today or tomorrow we will go into such a city, continue there a year, and buy and sell and get gain. <clears throat> get money, basically. Where Basically, he's going he gonna to be super rich. Well, this is the thing. We're in the middle of a collapse. Economy crash. The internet might go out. So much, man. It could delete his page. You just don't know. All right. But it's all about the end of a man and not just the beginning. You know, how he ends his life. He ended in the truth and doing the Father's will upon this earth on this borrowed time. Or did he waste his whole life in wickedness and in the end uh, uh, receive that that recompense of reward uh, for, for, uh, for being wicked? All right, whereas, whereas ye, ye know, all right, don't, you're not supposed to say, yeah, tomorrow, man, we're going to continue a year. Yeah, you don't know what, what's going to happen months from now. I'm going to be here on top. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. All right, see, that dude's an atheist. That's why he's he talking like that. For what is your life? It is even a vapor. That appear for a little time and then vanish vanish it away. All right, we're here one moment, loving and living and liking. Next thing you know, we're leaving. <laughs> the spirit is in the heavens, just like it was before we got here, man. That should that should be humbling enough, man. You know, even in the midst of loving everyone, it's still a, a, a silent remembrance of. That could be the last time you see them or they see you. That's a reality, man. All right. But life at the death is real. And that's why the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, came to show us. Other than that, we would be blind and, and you know, um, unaware of what's out there beyond the heavens. You know, what 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 is the reality of our destiny? We would have known nothing if it wasn't for Yahweh sending Yahweh Shai to give us the wisdom from the heavens, man. To understand the things below and above. To be in darkness, that's, that's a fearful thing, man. Ignorance is not bliss. It's, it's bliss that will lead, lead you to get blistered. All right, James 4 and uh, 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. So that's what he was on this earth to be, just a YouTube sensation. And then vanisheth away. For what did that do to the earth and for the earth? Now the brothers and his truth, if we vanish away, at least we woken up the elect and did what the Lord sent us to do. You know, to the best of our ability. For we ought to say, this was this was supposed to be saying. If the Lord will, see, if He's not saying that because He don't believe in Yahweh, He just takes the Most High's book and twists the scriptures and, you know, use it to to contend with His own people, or with or with the men of the Lord. For that He, for that ye ought to say, Sinetta. If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. All right. So if Yahweh wills it, wills me to live, then I'll be here forever. 
on top. That's what he should have said. If Yahweh Ratazah, Lord's will, I'll be here forever on top. You know, I already been here 15 years. Shoot, Lord's will, man, I'll be here 15 more years on top. But he ain't saying that. He's, I'm going to be right here. <laughs> Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye, ye, ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicings is evil. All right. So he's rejoicing in his boasting of tomorrow. But the Lord is saying that type of rejoicing, that's evil, man. That's bad. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. All right? He knows to do good. He knows about the Bible. He's been warned by the apostles and the brothers. All right. He knows what's in the scriptures. Uh, you know, whatever. He he tried to read the scriptures. Um, I had a friend like this a while back. It's like he would come around me, but he would read the scriptures just to contend with the scriptures. You know, just to fight against the spirit. He wasn't reading, coming to the Lord with a sincere heart. He was coming to the Lord with a, a, a dark mind. Not even double minded, just an enemy. So that type of rejoicing that Sarnetta doing and people like him, that's evil, man. All right. 